In the analysis video for this task, we came up with this flowchart for how to solve this task. So using this, let's implement this task. I start by creating a new Python script. I'll save it on my desktop and I'll give it a reasonable name. Lecture 3 task 5.py lecture 3 task 5 now let's see what were we supposed to do we were supposed to input the total distance all right total distance is equal to input we're going to read something from the user and we're going to display the following text uh, specify the total distance and I, I think I want to add that they should input the distance in kilometers all right when we have done that let's continue and input the average speed and we'll say specify the average speed and here too I want to specify that this should be given in kilometers per hour all right, let's look at what we have done. We have inputted these two, the distance and the speed. Hmm, but now we're going to calculate the estimated time. But before we continue to this, as soon as I see calculate, I know that I need this as numbers. So I can do, uh, we can use float to tell that these numbers, they're going to be floating point numbers. Now, Python knows that this is going to be numbers that we're going to use for a calculation. And here, here, let's stop here, because in the analysis video, I left out the, the formula that we're going to use to calculate the estimated time. And I did it on purpose, just so that we can, when we got here to the implementation phase, we can see that, oh, we are missing some information here. We don't have the formula. So now we have to stop and think. Maybe we can figure out the formula here and use it without much trouble. But it might be that when we have our flow shot uh, and we start the implementation that we realize that, oh, I forgot something. So then we have to either fix it here or go back and redraw our flow chart to better match what new information that we have that we need but in this case I think we can figure out how to calculate this and the estimated time is the total distance divided by the average speed and the last thing that we're going to do is to display the results so I'm going to do uh, print a call to the print function here and what are we going to print um, it will take it will take approximately and then here we're gonna add we can do like this the estimated time hours but this here is a number a floating point number there might be a lot of digits after the decimal point so I think we need to format this somehow and there is another benefit of formatting it uh, using format that we have looked at before and that is that it actually 
transform it into a string so that we can print it. But I know that maybe the values that we input will result in many decimals, so why don't uh, restrict how many decimals there can be in the answer? So I say that we maybe we want two decimals. And let's try to run it. The total distance, maybe it is 250 kilometers, and we're driving 90 kilometers an hour. And that will take us approximately 2.78 hours. And this is not really nice. It would be nicer if we had it in two hours and how many minutes it is. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. Now that we see that we can calculate something uh, out of what we have inputted, let's go back and check what have we done. Have we done what we should in the code? Does it correspond to our plan? So we have read the total distance, we have read the average speed, we have made the calculation, and we have displayed the result. So it looks like what we have here is the solution to the problem. And we can see we, we have practiced what we, we have learned so far, to, to input information, to read it from the user, to tell Python that we want it as a floating point number or, or as an integer. We can make calculations and then we can print it and we can format the output.